Hello guys, this is Cultivator 19 and today I am going to be showing you kind of a basic thing on how to create a regain button for your game from scratch. So I'm already in studio, so first I'm just going to make a base plate and I had a plugin that I made for it. I'll put a download link in the description if you want it. So anyways, what we're going to do is just insert a part. We're gonna make a 4x1x4, and we're going to make it have uh, a smooth top, and we'll just color it violet. So now we have the button, but it's not going to do anything yet because we haven't scripted or anything. So first, we want to make the model that we want to regenerate. So I'm just going to make a tree, and yes. So once you're ready to create the regeneration button, you're going to want to insert a script into it. <coughs> and so we first what we want to do is create a backup of the tree. So we want to say local backup equals game dot workspace dot tree clone. And that will create a clone of the tree when the game first starts. So it will become, if when we touch the button, it will become the way it first started as. In our case, it's normal. And we're going to just unanchor the tree so when I c try to destroy it, we can make it look nicer. So I can just kind of represent what I'm going to do. And then we're going to want to create the function that happens when we touch the button. But first, we need to create the bounce. The debounce is basically what's going to make it so we can't touch the button multiple times in one hit. Because the Roblox physics causes when we touch the button it may fire the event five times and we don't want that to happen. So now we want to create the function. So function on touch hit. And the hit will basically be the part that hit the button. In most cases it will probably be your legs. And so if the bounce equals equals true, then return end, which will basically stop the function if it's already true. And so we are going to set it to true so that we can't turn it on. And then we're going to set the brick color of the part to black to represent that we have touched it. So yeah. that makes it black and then what we want to do is remove the current tree in the workspace and then we're going to add a message to the workspace that tells the player that we are regenerating the tree so we want to create a message <sighs> and then so that adds a message to the workspace and then we're going to set the message text to and then we're going to wait three seconds and then we're going to clone the backup oops nope tree up here not backup here And then we're going to remove the message by calling the destroy method on it. And then we're going to re-enable the button to be used again. And then we're going to... Oh, before we do that, we have to make sure that we set the brick color to violet again. And then we should be done. We just have to connect the event. And now we should have a button, so if I let me just anchor this with button real quick. And so if I'm correct, if I test this, it should work fine. I am probably going to have an error or two because I'm not the best scripter in the world. Oops. I think the tree is actually hitting the button. That's funny. Well, at least we know that it works. And autumn um, that's probably not supposed to happen. Yeah, let's just anchor the tree for now. Just 
so if you uh okay never mind so yeah we have now we now have a regeneration button so if say I accidentally destroyed a tree it falls over we can just hit this button and it will recreate the tree so yeah that's, base that's just a basic regeneration button, and thank you for watching.